Okay, here we are doing a quadratic regression problem. Uh, this is one in which you're supposed to imagine that a patient has taken a pill and uh, the medication slowly goes into the bloodstream and then the body processes it and then the amount of medication um, gets lower and lower. Okay, so here's our data. At the start, there's no medication and there's um, at 0.25 of an hour, this is in hours, that's the concentration of the medication in milligrams. All right, so it says plot the six points above using um, L1 and L2 in our TI. Okay, so I'm going to go to the calculator. I've got um, a few of the points, but I'll show you how to add another. We go to stat and then edit. And there are the first five points. The last point is 2.5. And let's see what that data point is. It's 15.6. So then I hit enter and go across and type in 15.6. I did those points in advance just to save you the time of having to watch me do it. All right, so that's enter. And now um, when you are going to graph data, be sure that you've checked that plot one is turned on. If plot one is not on, you will not get a graph. All right, then later, don't forget to turn it off because you won't be able to graph equations if plot one is on. All right, so plot one is on, then just hit it with zoom nine. All right, that's zoom stat. Zoom six is a standard window plus and minus 10 in both directions. Sometimes people think that that's what you press to make it graph, but no, you press the graph button to make it graph and then you can use zoom nine. All right, so there's my data. It does look like it goes up and goes down, maybe not perfectly parabolic, but we'll get close and we'll be able to make an estimate as to when the peak amount is. So if I go to stat and then over to calc, and then I'm gonna choose option number five for quad reg. That's what this little section is about. This tells you that you're gonna graph data from L1 and L2, that makes sense. So I'm just gonna arrow down. Um, this store regression equation, I'm going to store it right in my equation editor. Okay, so this is a little shortcut that's worth knowing. You hit the variables key, and then from variables, I'm going to go over to y variables and then choose from function mode, which is just our standard mode. So this is, and then I can choose any one of those equations to put it into. I might as well just go with y1. And now it's going to store the equation that it finds in y1. I go down to calculate, hit enter and there's the regression, okay? Now, I'm supposed to write it down. Actually, I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but let's do it all in one page here. Um, I'm gonna write down these numbers and then um, put them on the worksheet. So, let's see if I can try to do that at once. I'm gonna move that off screen and go to this, and it's gonna be difficult, but the, the points, all right, just for me to plot those points, they're going something, you know, like this. You can just plot them. Uh, let me take a quick look over and see what that looks like. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So uh, then it goes something like this. All right. So that's what the points look like. And then when I graph the parabola, it's going to go something like this, right? So you're just going to do your best sketch of what it looks like. Okay. And then it says label the window. All right. So I'll bring that I'll bring that back just to show you how you can find that very easily. You go to window and it's starting at just about zero and going up to I would say about a little bit uh, less than three. So I'm going to make mine three and then it's going in the Y from negative uh, 14. So it's showing a little bit of that. So I can make it zero up to 100. Okay. So it looks like that's about right. Um, so this would be uh, zero like this to th uh, three here. Whoops, and then that's the x scale. Get my scales not mixed up like you guys sometimes do. That's the x scale, zero to three, and this went up to about 100. All right. So try to make your handwriting a little bit better than mine with this little mousy pen. Um, and then when we do the quad reg, we're going to write down these values here to three decimal places. Okay. So. Um, again, bring back the calculator, and that quad reg is, um, let's see, right here under y equals negative um, 
So negative 53. I guess I'm going to spare you watching me write this down, okay? I think you guys get the idea. You're going to write down your A, B, and C numbers right there. Um, <clears throat> then um, we're going to go to the next page here, and it says type the quadratic regression. Um, with the appropriate values into the equation editor. Well, I've done the shortcut method, but you can definitely just write down those. If you go to even two decimal places, you'll be fine, okay? Now, <clears throat> here's where I wanted you to have a little bit more detail, I guess, so um, because we're going to show the top of that um, parabola, all right? So if I go to graph, this is just showing the entire thing, but sometimes your three points will only be at the beginning of the uh, the parabola, and then the top of the parabola will be way off screen, and you're going to have to resize your screen. You're going to have to make it bigger in either the X or the Y or both directions. So I kind of got lucky. This is a little bit easier maybe. I don't have to change the screen, so my, um, my uh, window measurements are going to be about the same. Okay, so again, I, I'm going to go from zero here to three and from 0 to 100 and then I'm gonna have you know a nice curve do my best curve alright and have that try to match the, the graph okay I, this is the important thing is that using the trace in the calc menu which is found above the trace find the maximum amount of medication okay so this is where it can get a little bit tougher alright so we get back to this and we're trying to find the maximum point up there of the parabola. All right. So if I go to second, and then the trace, and then I choose four, option four for maximum. All right. Now, <clears throat> what it's saying is it wants to see the left-hand boundary. Now it's showing the numbers up there, which make it a little bit confusing to see. I think that'll go away when I find it. But I just want to be on the left-hand side of the graph, um, and then I hit enter. Sometimes the trace feature wants to trace only on the point and jump from point to point and stay off of the line just hit the up arrow or down arrow, if it, down arrow if that happens alright so I've pinched on the left and the right hand side now I have to hit enter a third time okay and there it is so we can see that the maximum concentration is at 90.75 right? 754 and that's at 1.25 alright so um, find the maximum amount of medication is 90 point, what did I say, 7? I'm going by memory here, you can check that. Uh, when is that? Well, we said that's at 1.25, okay? And again, I'm rounding, okay? Then the last question is, when is there no medication in the patient's blood, all right? Well, there's no medication in the patient's blood when it gets down to zero right there. So now I just want to find the zero of this function, this quadratic. So again, I do second and trace, and I'm going to choose option number two, zero. And just like before, I have to make sure that I'm on the left-hand side of the zero, and I definitely am, but just it's better to see it more clearly. So I'm slightly to the left of that zero when I'm above it. That's when then the function is positive. I know I'm to the to the right hand side of it when the value goes to negative, and you can see that there it is at negative. So I know I'm on the right hand side. Now again, I have to hit enter for a third time, and there's the um, the zero. Now this is where you get a little calculator round off. That is point, and then eleven zeros and a three. So that is mathematically where the zero is supposed to be, and this is two. 0.55999. So I'm thinking 2.56. Okay, 2.56 is going to be when the medication is completely metabolized. All right. So two and a half hours later, or a little bit more than that, you're down to zero. Okay. So it would be great if you labeled these points. You know, just give the coordinates there. Um, what is that? It's 1.25. And then 97, 90.7, all right? I'm not going to even finish this, I think. You got the idea. Well, <clears throat> all right, so that's how you do it. Um, good luck with the rest of the problems. And we'll move on to the next example, next video. Good luck.